What's going on guys? Um, I just made a video about the storm, my new favorite storm, where I've gotten from my last video post. It's been quite a while. Um, but anyways, I told y'all I was going to make a new ranger video and I was going to make a new interceptor video. Maybe I'll do the new Colossus, but I don't know if I have time for that today. But anyways, let's get into the details. So, where should we start? Let's actually start with support gear and grenades. Alright. A lot of people think that that item specific gear recharge, which is showing on the bottom right, is kind of pointless. And I always thought that too. I, I always ran for like that double combo impact. I always wanted more damage, more of this, more of that. Well, I'm going to let you guys know it's not as important to have damage as it is to have support. Um, it's nice for the... Um, storm to come into the rangers bubble and get those binary charges from the rangers bubble support is very nice anyways we're gonna run this vanguard rampart with only one combo impact 33 percent it's not even a god roll now i'm gonna go to a small bit of detail here i want to point this out at least in one of my videos because i haven't before Repair amount. Notice I'm running or keeping a 33 combo impact with 35 gear recharge and 13 repair amount. Now, repair amount is going to help you proc your emergency power a little bit quicker. I'm running this one because I'm going to be running solo. If I was running with a team, I'd put this one on because repair amount is going to give me my ultimate back quicker because I'm going to take more damage which is going to bring my health bars down to four bars quicker than if I didn't have repair amount on. Repair amount isn't going to do what you think it's going to do. Repair amount is actually going to make you more vulnerable to damage. The more repair amount you have on, the quicker you're going to die basically. It it does the opposite of what you think it's going to do. So keep that in mind. Keep an eye out for that. Um, anyways, grenades, I'm only going to run, I have 400 charges, I'm not going to use it though, because I want to remember to pop my support bubble, I'm going to put on the item specific gear recharge with 100 charges, ammo pickup amount is nice because I'm not running the yellow bubble that reloads your weapons. I'm not running the muster point, I think you call it. Yeah, muster point. Um anyways the Brawler's Blaze the every piece that I'm putting on is intentional. It's to break the shields. I'm running this weapon damage and physical damage to break the shields only for that. The 90 mag size is nice because I'm not running the muster point. I can't reload my guns by popping a bubble. So mag size is very nice to have. The L1 recharge is what I'm going for on this build. Also, I'm going for that support. So I came across God Roll armor, double support with weapon damage. I don't have any melee damage on. Weapon damage goes towards melee. I don't have any of that on. I'm putting my armor here with my gear recharge and my support. So I'm getting about 15% more melee. Not that big of a deal, but whatever. 15 is 15. Anyways, moving on to components. Um, while I'm shooting the shields down, I'm going to be charging my ultimate up. Every time I shoot that Rollner's Blaze to break a shield, I'm charging my ultimate but I'm running ultimate speed harvest bonus I could care less about um, thruster cooldown nice to have but really don't care ultimate speed is what I'm going for on the vanguard badge every time I melee with my electric melee my transmuting melee everything around me is going to be primed which goes hand in hand with the grenades that I'm using elemental ops great to have um, while we're in this video, I'm going to point out one thing. Let's say you're shooting a turret 
and you have elemental ops on you're shooting it with your roll nurse blaze it says on the top it's primed to the acid and it's primed to the fire don't do two combos in a row do one combo in a row and then put on another primer like maybe your melee primer uh, which would be electric uh, and then do another combo because the acid is going to proc a higher number 30 percent more damage when things are primed with acid so fire do a combo while the acid symbol is up do another primer like electric or ice or both do another combo and just keep in mind the last combo that you want to set off on a ranger is the acid one if you have more primers to use before you run out of primers use them don't get rid of the acid let that be your last combo um symbiotic surge now look here it's kind of looking a little bit like storm right gear recharge gear recharge anyways that gear recharge with the support, the combination of that is going to come hand in hand here in this build. Um, the ultimate damage is what I'm going for here. I'm going to be using combo sigils, the infamous double ultimate E power, putting that on. So we've gone through everything that we have on the build. Except I don't I don't remember if I did this or not. No, I don't think I did. Let me show you guys. So I'm going for double gear recharge on the right bumper slot. Nobody uses Ember Lance, so I figured, hell, why not? I got a roll for it. 25 and 10. It's got a nice ammo pickup amount roll on it. I'll run it. Typically, you would be probably going for recurring vengeance this one does have more ammo pickup amount with the 2015 this is less but I just want to prove a point so we're gonna run combo ultimate and combo um, if I'm running a little bit of low on the gear recharge, I'm definitely putting gear recharge on. I know my combos are important, but I have, I don't know, I don't know, so many, so many hours on this game. What I have on this build is dialed. Um, if you're not dialed, then you might want to run maybe a little more combo maybe a little bit more ultimate maybe you might want to run a little bit more gear recharge I don't know it's all up to you play your build test it out let's go into a quick play see what we can find hell we might not find anything Kits like this sometimes we go on splurges. Anthem remains more popular on PlayStation 4 than it does on Xbox. I don't know what PC is like, but uh, definitely PlayStation is where it's at for Anthem. We have people like uh, Killer Hack who just have brought this game to another level. AR Godspeed, uh, Chips Moonlight, IPM. These guys are the people that you want to keep an eye out for on PlayStation 4. They're on all the time, always helping people out. Sally, Sally Lily, Killer Hack. These guys are just phew, incredible, incredible players. I'm trying to get these guys onto my builds though. I think if we could make a team, get them offset a little bit, and uh, 
make them lean a little bit towards those that I like to make. I think that if we had a storm, a ranger build, a interceptor build, colossus, all that combined, I think our lobby would just disintegrate entirely as a team. I don't believe that uh, one person should do all the ultimate damage to the boss. I don't believe that um, a storm should throw out a binary star and kill everything in the room. I think that everybody should play a part in this game and do a little bit of everything. Uh, which is why I tone it down a little bit and focus a little bit more on the support side. Um, it makes the game a little bit more enjoyable. And to top it off, man, the, the amount of damage getting done by the entire team working as a team is going to be more than one single person can do. But anyways, let's get into the details here. We're going to melee. Everything's primed. Throw a grenade. Boom. Bing, bang, boom. Everything's primed. Peace out. Pop a bubble. Get more charges. We're just going to go for two turrets. They're gone. Well, they should be. Normally they are. Let me show you what I was talking about with the, uh, the acid prime. So, look. Fire acid. Okay, we want to keep that. We're going to get another prime. I'm just going to wait just to show an example. Okay, look. We're going to wait, we're going to wait, we're going to get that melee prime up. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have done any examples. I should have just played. Anyways. Let's go. Do another. We'll just run this one right out like I would normally play it. We don't want to take those acid primes away. Get your shields back. Ah, fuck that. We're not going to use all that damage on that turret. I'm actually out of rhythm right now. That's okay. Get that rhythm back. Remember that high Rollner's Blaze weapon damage? Nice to have. Pop that bubble, get some more charges. Fuck it, we'll send it everywhere. Just see what this will do. Yeah, fuck you, bitch.
Now we're gonna focus, try to focus on just. Let's get a little bit closer here. Let's try to focus on just him. I'm not gonna lie, that was not one of my best runs. But it's just for the video. You can see what it does. I do wanna go into this next room. I do wanna just smash some shit. Let's go. Okay, we're going to pick this up, get everybody in here. Like I said, we're going to focus on that guy. He should be acid prime, but he's not. Okay, whatever. Why that guy's not priming. I think I got a little lag right now. I am uploading a video, so yeah, I probably do have a little lag. It's alright. Let's see how quick I get my ultimate back. I probably should have saved it for him, but whatever. Everything's dead. Well, you kind of get the point here. That's all I wanted to show you.